How's it going, everybody? It's Afro DJ Mac, and I want to talk to you about DRC, a synthesizer from Imaginando. DRC is really cool because it's also got an iOS version, and it's exactly the same, and you can program presets on one and transfer them to the other, so you can work in your PC, your desktop, and then you can go on to your iPad and continue working on sounds you've built. So it's really nice for that. Be on your phone you know, while you're commuting, design patches, and then have them in your DAW. It's really nice. I want to talk to you about some of the things that I really enjoy about the synth rather than just go through its features um, and what makes it interesting. And the biggest thing about DRC is it's an analog modeled synthesizer. So it's going to have some of these subtle imperfections that we get with analog circuitry. The oscillators aren't always perfectly in tune and the timing might be slightly off here and there, the filter. You know, all these little things that happen in analog synths, they've tried to emulate here. And I want to give you a little example of this. And this is going to be pretty subtle, but I think it's a big part of the sound. So I've got two tracks, one with DRC and one with Operator. And I've got just these two note patterns. We're just going to hear two notes. And I want you to notice the way the notes sort of phase in and out of each other. There's like a wave and a movement between the notes. So let's listen to Operator and hear how the notes kind of phase in and out of each other. You hear this movement in the notes, kind of this up and down. I'll trigger the clip again, same speed. Every time I trigger the clip, same speed. Right, exactly the same every time. That's operator, it's digital, it's perfect. When we go to DRC, we're emulating the analog and this isn't always gonna be the case. It's gonna move differently. So let's listen. A little bit faster than the operator one right now. Let's trigger the clip again very slow now. Do it again. Faster. Slower. Very slow. Very, very slow. So what you should be noticing here is that we're getting a different kind of playback every time. And these are just the same two notes in my MIDI clip on both tracks. And there's nothing different about it, but the sound is different every time on DRC, which is part of what makes it cool as an analog synth. So I thought maybe we'd just like program a patch or two, and then um, maybe just a couple other little things that I think are cool about this particular synth. So I thought it might be cool to make like a keys sound. So I'm gonna go into our first envelope and bring our sustain down. So we get something that's a little more plucky. Give ourselves a little bit of a release. Okay, I'm gonna change our filter over here. We're gonna change this to, let's do the four, L pa low pass four. So this is gonna be. What's nice about this particular filter is we get our self resonating oscillator. bring the sustain up. You get that nice sustain. We're not going to really use that for this patch though. So I want to have envelope generator 2 affect my filter here. So we're going to turn up the decay a little bit and turn up the, the amount that this gets affected. So we're moving the filter according to the envelope. somewhere around there. All right, so we got oscillator one is our saw wave, which I think we can leave at that. Oscillator two now we can play around with. Maybe we'll detune this just a little bit. Well, first we're gonna need to turn it up, right? We turn it up here, we've got it an octave higher. And it's slightly detuned here. We can try a different waveform. So 
So we got a nice little sound going on here. Um, let's see, we can bring in a little bit of sub oscillator. So let's just you can hear that bass now for sure. And we've got our choice of waveforms. I'm gonna pick triangle. I'm not gonna have it quite down two octaves. Nice, very nice. We have also got our noise here, so we can take our noise, turn it up here. And what's kind of nice is they got a filter just for the noise. So we can kind of tuck that down real low. Let's bring the volume down a little bit. There's also a ring modulator. I think it adds a nice little touch here, just a little bit. So, a little bit of ring modulation. Now, a really cool feature about this synth is its pre-gain. So what we can do, I'll turn the master down a little bit, we can crank up the pre-gain and kind of overdrive the synth a little bit. Crank it up all the way there. So we're getting a little bit of distortion now. So cool. That might be a little more than I want, but uh, it's a nice little feature to have there. And again, you should notice that the notes are kind of wavering in a different way every single time I play. That is our analog emulation, which is pretty cool. Um, so, maybe for this sound, we're going to add a little bit of chorus. we got our chorus here. We can enable it. So you can hear that made things a lot bigger. We can play with our depth and our rate. And this gets kind of crazy, especially with the feedback. I don't think we want all of that going on here. But I do want a nice slow moving chorus. Kind of cool. I might even take my sub down a little bit here. So let's go to our amp section and just pull sub down a little. Sounds nice. And it's really easy to control. There's different tabs for every single part of the synth that you want to use. There's a different mode on the chorus now. I believe this is a more intense version. I'm kind of liking this right now here. And um, a nice feature is its arpeggiator. So I can turn this on here. Control how many steps, like the octaves it'll move up. Control the mode and the rate. And as you can see, it's synced to our tempo. And there's a nice hold control for no hands arpeggiation, which allows you now the ability to kind of go inside to your filter, for instance, and have a little fun moving that around. I think it's worth noting just the grittiness of the synth. Really enjoying that about it. It's where I think the synth shines. And turn off our hold. And uh, maybe we'll even turn off our arc. Let's turn it off here, actually. So we've got also a reverb, which is kind of nice. Give us a little room space. Make it really big or just something small. You know, I think just a barely amount we can hear on this sound would be cool. And the delay, and the delay has a couple things I want to show you because I think it's pretty cool. So our delay, we can turn up our amount. We don't have much feedback going, so let's turn that up a bit. Cool, right? We can crank that all the way up. And we got to start feedbacking the synth itself, which I think is really awesome. <laughs> so this is a like a tape delay emulation. That's why we're getting all these like cool sounds here as we move things around. We've also got a filter for a delay. We can me mellow it out. We'll let it be real bright. No, 
I, I love doing that. <laughs> That's just really fun. Um, but I'm going to mellow this out some. And there's a nice spread control, which is very interesting. So this sort of spreads out your delay to give you some more width. Because apparently there are two delay lines at all time, and this spreads the two out. And there's a flutter control to kind of play around with the pitch of your delays to give it a, a little more of an analog tape emulation, which is pretty nice. Now, we can go pretty nuts with this. Um, we get noise out of the delay. I'm not even playing notes now. I love this about this delay, is that we can self-generate noise without even playing notes. You can just use this as an, a, a weird noise effect inside your DAW. So something you might do is like go to resampling here. Let's turn that down just a touch. Record enable it, right? And we're just going to record a little bit of what we can do with the noise from DRC. Crank up our feedback some. Oops. Did not mean to do that. let the note happen. So what I'm going to do. Like that could be a cool little noise effect, right? Let's let this crank up again quick. And we're going to like get a nice little white noise. drop here so as i'm saying before like now i've got all these like cool little sounds i can play with right so that's a nice effect for a track right just you want some sort of like transitional sound you can do these using just the delay inside of drc love it you know you put some like reverb and delay on these things now we got some really cool sounds. Nice. So, I mean, that's just like a side bonus you get with DRC. So we might want to just bring all this stuff back down. Keep our, get back to our actual sound. Which I think is pretty nice right about there. Um, and, you know, that's just a little taste that we get here. It's a really cool synth and especially because of this like kind of analog flavor to it so definitely check out drc from imaginando and remember there are also the ipad and iphone versions so you can do your sound design on the go and then have it ready for you using their login and cloud service as soon as you open up your daw so thanks for watching i'm afro dj mac check out my work afrodjmac.com and enjoy drc from imaginando